So, as you all probably already know, about 13 houses in Najawa Estates and Shasha areas of Lagos have been demolished by the Lagos State Building Control Agency, LAPSCA. And also the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria. Joining us um, to talk about this a bit later is the General Manager, Corporate Affairs, Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria. Um, to join us very soon, that's Faithful Hope Ibabizi. So, um, this is a very painful video to watch if you have built a house before. If you have used, ever used your hard-earned money, put it together to come up with a structure. It is painful if anything happens to it because this is you seeing all your, it could be all your investments just going down the drain. Mm -hmm. It's very painful and my hearts really go out to their loss, but this also could have been avoided. Um, there's something they do in Lagos State. If you want to buy a property, you do a search. That search will tell you if it's going to be a government acquired property, if it's a place that has been earmarked for uh, probably agriculture, if it's a place for residents, if it's somewhere you can actually buy and build on or somewhere you should just, um, you know, let go. So um, I have this um, property that I acquired around business, behind business school. And we had started, we put up the foundation, mm. you know, thinking of what do we do with the structure only for the search to come out and we realized that that area is for the government. Mm. Uh, it, was, and it was actually sold to us by the family, the people that own that place, but it's a government area that they, I think, I think they want to use it for something, maybe agriculture or something mm. later on. They, they will even tell you the year they want to start looking at it. At that point, I froze because I couldn't imagine uh, putting up a structure there, and after how many years they come and demolish it. That's what the search does for you. So I've left that place. Everybody's like, yeah, you're not going to do something about this property. I say, <laughs> government can come any day and take that property. So that search gives you that, um, um, that tells you exactly what that property is for, if it's somewhere that you can build. And so people must invest. If you're going to cough out millions of naira to buy a land, you must search to be sure that nothing will happen to this land tomorrow. That's one. Secondly, the stubbornness of Nigerians. We're actually very stubborn people. And we're stubborn because the government enables us to be stubborn. Why do you have to wait for this building to be put up in a way that people are already living there before you come for demolition? You know that these are the pipelines where people are building on. You do not allow that building to get to that level. That's what you do. So instead of serving papers, um, this year you come back, you tell them, leave this place. Next year you come back from that foundation level. And they will not tell me that they did not know when these things were coming up. From that foundation level, before they get to Linton level, you are demolishing it already. You are So that you save them. They may cry at that time, but the tears at that time, compared to the yeah. tears now, okay. there will be a lot of Let me get a few more comments. I mean, the real estate space. You will never build a house. Lagos State will not give you building permits if you don't have documents. So the rot is deep. People bribe their way to get building permits. Mm. So you are getting building permits without documentation on the land. If your building permit was legitimate, you must have done a previous documentation. But they'll say, just help us document and bribe their way. People buy their houses and... You will not get registered survey or any documents on that land in the first place. You, there are documents, basic documents that you will not get okay. if the area is not free. Yeah. So when we bribe to get the document, it's like you bribing to enter university. You will not, even if you pass, you are not you having a useful certificate. certificate. Yeah. So we must get, learn to do things right. Okay. The blame is shared across many falls right. from within the government officials who are supposed to have checked that building. No building okay. should go that high uh -huh. without being pulled down that you are on a pipeline, Rogini. you are in a fan area. Uh -uh. Right. There are many shades of wrong in this. All right. Once again, I have to go down to those who have lost their properties. Let me, yeah. Yeah. Let me take uh, Mariam's thoughts. Yeah, so there are a few things I think we should just talk about. Sometimes, you know, we have the money, but we don't have knowledge. We have money, we don't have education. We have money to be able to build houses, and, but we don't have the knowledge to make sure that we're doing it right. Um, sometimes we have money and we think bribery and corruption would help, you know, cutting corners will help us, you know, achieve what we need to achieve quickly. And the sad thing about bribery is that um, it bites not just, you know, it bites you that, that has paid for, for, for something like this. Um, if you had bribed your way through to be able to erect a building on that land, 
the people that have taken your money have taken your money and gone. Here you are, you are happy for only a short time, mm. and then this has happened. It should never have been possible in the first place. So, you know, I'm not blaming one particular person, but we have a system that allows for that. But sometimes we need to be careful if people are even willing to collect bribe on something that they say you shouldn't do in the first place. Mm. Why? Find out the reason why, you know, government is asking you not to um, erect your buildings there. Just this number of houses that are being demolished now, you know, are not the only houses that are there. You know, I heard you say, oh, there should be human face to this demolition and all that. Yes, there is a human face to it because we have over 200 houses now that are not going to be demolished, you know, but the ones that are being demolished now are the ones that are on the critical areas. You can see the video I sent to you earlier that you, you saw the pipeline, you know. I don't, I don't get it truly. How, you know, people just buy land, you know? I don't know. You just buy land without due process. You know, the, the guest from the Lagos State uh, government now just explained that. You cannot just buy land without due process. I have a message from the, uh, from the general manager, Corporate Affairs, Federal Airport Authority. That's Fan. Faithful. Fan. From Faithful um, Hope Ivazi. She said, you may further inform the general public that all illegal occupants of the airport land should stop those already encroaching in Akure, <laughs> Meiduguri, <laughs> Kano, Port Harcourt, Sokoto will all be demolished. Because when anything happens, Lagos goes viral. Guys, ah, it's Lagos where they started though. But when the demolition happens in some of these states, we, we don't, we don't, it doesn't really go viral. So they're also telling you ahead of time that they, they will be demolishing in this state. Those properties um, are encroaching on the airport land should begin to move.